In this video, we will practice using some of the comparison operators. As you can see, I have some variables with some initialized values here, and I have a variable result, which I've initialized to none. And this is where we're gonna do our comparison operations and then print out the result down here. So the first thing that we're gonna try is the equals operator. And we will check to see if A is equal to B by typing A, then two equal signs, and then B which will evaluate if five is equal to 10. And if I run this, we're gonna get the output false because five is not equal to 10. Now, if I check to see if C was equal to B, which is gonna check if 10 is equal to 10 and run that, we will get the output true because 10 is equal to 10. The next comparison operator we'll look at is the not equals. So now I'm gonna check to see if 10 is not equal to 10 and it's gonna return false because 10 is equal to 10. And if I were to check to see if A was not equal to B, so is five not equal to 10, and run this, it's gonna tell me true, because five is not equal to 10. And if I wanted to check to see if five was greater than 10, I could use the greater than comparison operator, and when I run that, it's gonna tell me false. And if I swap these, so B is on the left and A is on the right, to check if 10 is greater than five, when I run this, we'll get the output down here of true. And if I switch this greater than to a less than, so we're gonna check if 10 is less than five, it's gonna tell me false. And if I swap this A and B to check if five is less than 10, we will get the output true. And if I wanted to check to see if five was less than or equal to 10, when I run that, we will also get the output true. Or if I wanted to check to see if five was greater than or equal to 10 and run that, we get false. But if I were to check to see if C, which is 10, is greater than or equal to 10, we get the output true. These comparison operators also work on strings, but maybe not in the way that you would expect them to. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these variables here and work on strings directly. And the first thing I'm gonna tell it to do is check to see if a capital A is greater than a lowercase a. And if I run this, we're gonna get the output false. This indicates that a lowercase a is actually greater than an uppercase a. And you might be wondering why. Well, when Python compares strings, it's comparing their lexicographical or dictionary order based on their Unicode code points. So the lowercase a actually comes in at a higher Unicode number than the capital A. So if I were to switch this, we would see that the capital A is in fact less than the lowercase a. So you have to be careful if you're using the greater than or less than signs with characters. So if I were to say have an AAZ here, and then over here I have an AZ, and I'm checking to see if this is greater than this right here, it's gonna give me false. Because in lexicographical or dictionary order, lowercase a, lowercase a, z would come first before lowercase a and z. And if I were to throw another A here and see if it's greater than, it's gonna still tell me false because now they're equal. So if I put in an equal sign operator and run this, it'll tell me that they are the same string. Now, if I wanted to add one more A here and run this, now we get true because in a dictionary, AAZ would come after AAAZ. So just be careful if you're using the greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to comparison operators with strings. If you are using equals or not equals with them, it just simply checks to see if the strings are the same sequence of characters.